hi everybody welcome to my channel for those that are new welcome for those that are already following me thank you for sticking in my name is Tomasia. today i'll be showing you guys an easy recipe that you can do to remove your dark knuckles permanently so you know sometimes a lot of people have dark knuckles but i one thing i came to say according to research dryness can cause dark knuckle skin tends to become dry when your hands and feet are exposed to harsh chemicals or like if you use harsh chemical or you wash too much and then often lead to dark knuckles so also certain disease like uh, uh, psoriasis enzema and tend to make your knuckles dark so this is the first method i'm gonna use three methods this is the first method that i'm gonna use this is method number one so we'll need uh, citric acid uh, ci honey we we'll use citric acid and honey this is honey this is raw raw honey very very strong and dark guys the reason i'm using on this formula citric acid is because citric acid uh, is, um, it's an acid it's a skin restoring alpha acid like a, a and j and it provides impressive result to the complexion also citric acid it's also it's an organic acid found in citrus or fruit or mm -hmm. citric fruits such as lemon orange grapefruit so this is very good for your skin and then the benefit of citric acid is also good for mild breakouts such as spots and blackheads pigmentation dark spots fine lines wrinkles and cloche pores this one for me this one is very mild it's very good but remember you should not use a lot of citric acid guys citric acid you should you should not use it use it a lot so then you add coffee. You guys, you saw already the ingredients that I pour, I mix on this thing. I just did this small one because I do this every time because just to reduce my dark knuckles and elbows, dark my dark elbows, knees. So yeah, and the benefit of all these ones are very good. They help to moisturize your skin. Like coconut oil is very good moisturizer because remember when you have dark knuckles, you must make sure that your hands is always moisturized. So that's how it looks like this is how my the first method looks like so once you're done what once you're done um mixing wash your hand with cold water and then take a small amount of this scrub and then scrub it on affected areas so you should only use it on the affected areas not like hands and everything only the areas that you are focusing on like the problematic areas so you scrub in a circular motion. Make sure that it, you scrub gently. Don't be too harsh because remember, our skins are very sensitive. So wash, uh, <laughs> scrub in circular motion. Then clean it off. It's either you can clean it off or maybe wash it with um, water. Clean it with water, but without any soap. So here, then once I I finish, then I clean it off. And then, but then I saw it was taking long to, to come out. I went to wash it off water. So once it's done washing with water, guys, when I told you about moisture, moisture is very important when you have dark knuckles. Moisture is, and you need to keep your hands moisture. You must not leave your hands too dry for long. Guys, do you see how my, my knuckles look like? I just used it now. I'm joking. So, but you can also use, actually, to moisturize your, your, your hands. In this case, I use, you can use Vaseline or you can use coconut oil. Coconut oil is a very good moisturizer. Vaseline is as well because I have noticed that if you use Vaseline on your dark knuckles, it helps to mo it moisturize your ends very, very well. So that's process number one. Now let's go to method number two. Yeah, so then you cut the lemon. So I'm going to use citric acid, which I already explained. Ginger on this uh the second method so you take you cut your lemon what we will just gonna use the lemon um the what the lemon juice <laughs> lemon milk the lemon juice so you get you can we know we all know that lemon juice uh, contains nutrient as well antioxidant that are essential for restoring your health and reju rejuvenating the entire physical system so also vitamin <laughs> vitamin <laughs> also ginger <laughs> sorry guys also lemon contains vitamin c that plays a key role in rejuvenating the facial skin internally so that you do not ev ever develop age spot let's say and you can stay young forever and ginger we all know ginger is very uh, not ginger um um lemon so then i'll put two spoons of ginger 
ginger is quite effective in dealing with dark dark skin so let's say if you have some dark area under eyes if you have under eyes dark area in the elbows and the feet as you and ginger ginger if you do a ginger paste it's very nice so ginger is also um ginger being a antibacterial and anti-inflammatory in nature helps to get rid of dark spots from this um from the skin so if you have that spot let's say like in this case we are dealing with pigmentation ginger and lemon it will like it will exfoliate it will help to uh, to lighten up those dark areas so this one is not really like a scrub in this case it's just like a paste so you apply the paste you also first start by washing your hand apply the paste on the area sorry guys apply the paste on the affected area the way i did and then you leave it for 10 minutes once you leave it for 10 minutes then you can rinse it off with lukewarm water even cold water i'll suggest if you are fighting with dark knuckles avoid using a lot of hot water avoid using a lot of hot water and chemicals those are very strong lotions chemicals um products with um very uh, very very strong so now here to soften up my after i'm done with this with the mask i moisturize my hand i'm using this uh, palmer's uh, cocoa butter it's very very nice for pigmentation this this butter but then it's not very nice if you for people with a skin of colors like as black or whatever you know but then i always use it on my hand it moisturizes my hand it helps my hands to lighten up very easily um, the first method, uh, the last one, I'll be using. We'll be using honey and lemon already. We squeezed the lemon already, so and then we'll be putting. Um, it's actually not honey. It's lemon, and this is aloe vera powder, and then um, we put coconut oil on the on the mix uh, in this mixture. So let me just talk a bit about the benefits of aloe vera. Aloe vera has been found to have many health benefits for the skin, from helping to heal wound to moisturizing. There's a small amount of scientific evidence suggesting that applying aloe vera to your skin may help reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation areas, uh, though it won't completely get rid, but then it will help to get rid of those dark area so aloe vera is a very good one and then now here we're putting also turmeric i'll just use two two one spoon or two you can use one or two spoon of turmeric so uh, turmeric is a oh sorry turmeric we all know the benefits of turmeric turmeric is very good for our skin it uh, contains a very good benefit for our skin and then we're also gonna put um, one spoon of um, honey honey is one of the nature's most revered skin remedies thanks to its bacteria antibacterial and antiseptic ability and also it may benefit oily and acne prone skin so guys if you have oily acne prone skin this is the best it also helps the skin um, keep the skin moisturized so once we're done with that we put honey and all of that you guys saw all the, the process the way the what I, I put on this mixture i put also rice milk rice milk lightens up the dark um, dark areas like if you have hyperpigmentation you do rice milk or you can actually if you don't have rice milk you can even use a potato juice on this paste so once it's done you just wash your hands again like the first process and then you take a bit of this paste and then apply it on the affected areas you leave it for 10 minutes and then after that you wash it off it's just the same process as that one when you want to apply on this it's just that this one it's a paste the first one it was a scrub the second one was also a semi scrub paste and this one is a paste this is very good so guys hopefully you enjoy this video and please don't forget to <clears throat> i'm joking but yeah hopefully you enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe so this is how you do your 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 what is that dark knuckles cream and guys believe me you'll see results try this for a week and then come back and comment below if it worked try all of them but if you don't have like the citric acid it's not a must to have a citric acid you can use any uh what since if you have lemon 
dry apple or lemon, use the lemon powder and start using that one as a paste every time instead of using citric acid if you don't have citric acid. Because anyway, citric acid comes from orange, comes from lemon, comes from uh, any citrus, uh, citric, whatever they call it, citric plant. So yeah, that's how it that what that's how we do it. And thank you very much for watching guys. Goodbye. Bye 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 bye.